Said it before, gonna say it again. We've got a seat waiting for you in the Delmarva Life audience. Be a part of the fun here in Historic Studio D. Book your seat by visiting delmarvalife.com. Click on the show tab. It's now on the left side of the screen. Or you just give us a call, 443-880-9116. Well, before the break, we learned about Preakness Palooza, an event to celebrate the upcoming thoroughbred horse races. Yeah, and as you may know, there are actual. What? Go ahead. How come I didn't get one? <laughs> there are actually three jewels in the Triple Crown, the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes. Each of them has their own signature drink. Yeah, the Kentucky Derby is the mint julep. Delicious. The drink for the Preakness is the Black Eyed Susan, and it's the Belmont Breeze for the Belmont Steak. So, because the Preakness is practically held in our backyard, we are going to make its signature drink, the Black Eyed Susan. We're also going to make a Red Eyed Susan, and we found these recipes on Colleen Mullaney's blog. This is what you need for the Black Eyed Susan. We're going to start off with that. Are you going to hold that thing? The yes, whole time? I am. <laughs> you need some vodka, some light rum some orange liqueur like Grand Marnier. You need eight ounces of orange juice, you need some pineapple juice, and you garnish with a slice of orange and cherries. Let's get started. So I have everything over here. You wanna hold this for me? I have, no, wait, get that back. Darn, <laughs> had a chance. I have everything right here. You need a pitcher. We're gonna make, we're gonna make this in the pitcher for the Black Eyed Susan. So we're gonna start off with about four ounces of vodka okay. and four ounces of rum. Do you know which one's which? I think you're dry, so. I'm going to put that in there, okay? And then we have our orange liqueur. You need about two ounces of orange. It smells really good. Liqueur. Throw that in there. Okay. And we need eight ounces of OJ. Oops, OJ. Of OJ. <laughs> I almost picked up the pineapple juice. So let's goodness, use this one for right. the, yeah. I'm going to put eight ounces of OJ in there. Let's see. And then four ounces of pineapple juice. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's going to have a nice fruity flavor to it. That's four ounces right there. All right. And then you just mix it all together in the pitcher. Let me grab a something to mix it with. And you have yourself a Black Eyed Susan. That's a Black Eyed Susan. This is the Black Eyed Susan. Yeah. Okay. And, and when, you, when you use the garnish and you put it in the glass and everything, it'll be gorgeous. So we're just going to go ahead and pour that in there. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to have you do the garnish for this. Okay. Okay. So that is, uh, you're going to use a little, a little bit of a uh, uh, lemon. Lemon. <laughs> so okay. Go ahead and slice up the lemon. Slicing up the lemons. Okay. So here's part. what you need for the red-eyed Susan. We need 12. Now this makes 12 servings, so you see a lot. You need 12 uh, wedges of lime, 12 pieces of fresh crab. You also need some tomato juice, vodka. Worcestershire sauce, you need fresh lemon juice, fresh lime juice, and a quarter cup prepared horseradish, two tablespoons of hot red pepper sauce, or in Jimmy's case, eight tablespoons. Eight at least. You need uh, freshly ground pepper, <laughs> and this is the, what makes it so Maryland, yeah. the Old Bay. Oh, oh, yes. And of course, you need ice cubes and celery sticks for garnish. Okay. okay? Are you okay if I don't do a whole 12 here? We'll just do yeah, yeah that's okay. okay. <laughs> that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Red Eyed Susan. So we're going to put in the eight ounce, or eight cups of tomato juice. All right. So I'm just going to kind of and then what Count I'm going to do is, is you said I was going to split these with shrimp on a skewer, right? Uh, with uh, uh, the crab meat. Oh, with the crab meat, I'm sorry. Yeah. Where did I come up with shrimp? I don't know. <laughs> I had shrimp on the mind there for some reason. Yeah. So I'm going to be pouring tomato juice for quite some time because I need eight cups here. <laughs> okay. And this this is basically, you know what this really is, it's almost like a um, Bloody Mary. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Because it's it's the same ingredients for the most part. I think people make their Bloody Marys differently, but this is like a, um, I guess, a Maryland Bloody Mary because you have the Old Bay in it and the uh -huh. crab as the garnish. So there you go. You know, I'm just going to throw in the whole can there. I'll probably go a little faster that way. Uh, okay, so we were going to mix our tomato juice with some vodka, which is also in a Bloody Mary. We have half a cup of Worcestershire. I never said that right. <laughs> Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Yeah, that's how I say I'm, it in my head. Okay, and it says fresh lemon want. juice, but we we cheated and we got we got fresh out of the fresh out of the bottle. The bottle. And a little bit. I think that was the lime juice and the lemon okay. juice. 
and we've got the horseradish here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spoon here. How are you doing over there with your garnish? This really does make a, a, a colorful little garnish. Well, this one's pretty good. <laughs> All right. And roll here. Make a another. red pepper sauce, uh, black pepper, and Old Bay. Old Bay. Now, what you do, because you have a lot of ingredients in here, is you're gonna, in a lot of uh, spices and stuff, you wanna whisk it together. Yeah. Oh, this smells good. <laughs> And if you would like these recipes, of course, you know how to get them. Send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to our website, delmarvalife.com. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for my ladle. Oh, there, there you go. <laughs> Click on the show tab or give us a call. That, of course, number on your screen, 443-880-9116. You can chug this. <laughs> Straight down to the bottom? Uh, let me think about it. No. Okay. And then this, right? Yep. There like you so? go. Okay. Yep. And then, of course, you take that out. And okay. And, and you take it out and taste it. You want to taste it or you want me to taste How it? How about it? Okay. You, you just go to town. I'm going for the crab. Oh, that's oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if, I don't, if you don't mind me saying so, my son, this is... This is the red-eyed Susan, This is right? the red-eyed Susan, now the black-eyed. this is the black-eyed Susan. Okay. You want me to taste that, too? Well, you You're making it. me I'm taste the, everything. So, oh, well. No, no, no. You're good with this. Huh? <laughs> okay, another question. Which one do you like better? Are you going to oh, have to go back and forth? Oh my gosh, they're two different drinks. I don't know. That would be be hard to decide. Be tough to tell, yeah, huh? they'd be tough to decide. So to come on down, Marvel Life. These heels right here are made for running. How you can take part in a high heel race to save lives. <laughs> Guys, that means you too. Yeah. Mm. And wow. Brian is proof that it can be done. Remember this when he beat uh, Lisa last year in the race. Up next, it's time for the rematch. Yeah. But first, here's a look at what's coming up in the news on First at Five on Fox 21 and later on WBOC News at 6. Oh.